We sent a team of celebrities to investigate paranormal activity in a severely haunted location. What was that? What was that? We gave them ghost hunting equipment. We gave them until sunrise. And then we left them all alone. All by myself? Wait, wait, can we stay close to me? I've never felt anything like that. God, I'm kind of a little freaked. That was a ghost, right? I guarantee you, you're going to be fine. We're leaving, I'm we're sorry. leaving, we're leaving. My senses tell me it's just not a good idea to enter this thing. There's a presence in the room. Please tell me when I can leave. Please. seems fun. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. So this is interesting, huh? What we're about to endure. I'm obsessed. Have you done anything like this before? No. Do you know anything about the paranormal? Nope. Are you interested in the paranormal? Yeah, why not? You're always excited until you your pants. Yeah. Hi, I'm Deborah Wilson from Mad TV. Always, as a child, I've always wanted to experience the paranormal. I've always been interested in it. I've always wanted to have an experience that might not necessarily frighten me, but definitely be powerful. I'm obsessed with the paranormal and side phenomena. Are you really? No, like, for, but like from afar, you know, like I'm, I'm fascinated with it, but I'm scared, terrified of it too. Are you it's really? Crazy. Like you're gonna be alone, Mama. all by myself. Mama, you're gonna be by yourself. Keep yeah, in mind, this is overnight, so you're gonna you're gonna be probably <laughs> by yourself. I can't do this. Yeah, you can. My name's Nikki Ziering, and you might know me from Playboy or Price Is Right. No idea what to expect tonight. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Of course, a few hours, check with me, check back. I might need therapy for the rest of my life. Are you prepared for anything? The ghost can show up. I'm not sure. Does it scare you? Nope. My name is Evander Holyfield, the only full time heavyweight champion in the world. Spirit, I do believe that uh, we may hear something, but uh, I, how big could it be? I don't worry, it's all good. Base camp. Base camp is interesting. My name is Julio Julio Iglesias Jr. I'm a singer. I come from a musical family. My brother's Enrique and my father's Julio Iglesias. My stepfather used to have a big farm outside of Madrid, Spain. It was always very scary and it always freaked me out when I was little. I, I hated sleeping alone. Oh my goodness. Who's the big officer, the big boss? <laughs> you want me to be the boss? Yes. My name's Wee Man, and you probably know me from Jackass. <laughs> I'm on the fence about ghosts. I'm kind of like, maybe there is a little bit of spirit, but then it could be just in your own mind but we'll have to see. I might be a tough guy right now, but still, could be crying later. You guys ready? Yep. 
Welcome to Basecamp. This computer will guide you on your investigations as you explore the haunting of the Susuro Canyon Commune. According to local legend, a small cult settled in these canyons at an old abandoned factory sometime in the 1960s. The story goes that their religious leader, Solomon, was infatuated with young girls in his congregation. Her name was Claire. His forbidden lust drove him to madness, and in the secret of his own cavern, he started worshipping the devil. He became convinced that Satan wanted a human sacrifice, so during one of the cult's traditional ceremonies, Solomon pulled out a ritual dagger and stabbed Claire through the heart. The cult was shocked, but before they could catch Solomon, he ran off. When they eventually found him, he had committed suicide. Rumor has it that Solomon and Claire's ghost still haunt this compound. Your mission tonight is to determine which of the four areas you will investigate is the most paranormally active. This area is called the heart of the haunting. Deborah will be base commander for this investigation. For your first investigation, Nikki and Wee Man take the EMF meter to the prayer room where you will investigate the location where Solomon reportedly committed suicide. Get suited up for your investigation. Hi. <laughs> no, don't, please don't scare me. <laughs> How would I scare you? Just don't. Something about being in a group when there's a ghost is less scary than when you're alone and there's a ghost. I don't know. And as long as I don't have to go into a room by myself, I think I'll be okay. What how long we'll be gone? <laughs> Until you complete your task. Yeah. Which won't be long, Mama. If it helps my team members to be strong, I am there for them. Especially for Nikki, because I think that she's the one who's going to be the nervous the most, and I need to be her big sister. All right. All right, you guys. See ya. a barrel with an arrow pointing straight up. Yeah, we see it. Confirm when you have reached the barrel, and then I'll press next to proceed. Confirm, we are at the barrel with the arrow. Walk forward. You should now be on a paved road. Continue on the paved road until you reach a barrel with an arrow pointing right. Okay, this way, Nikki. God, this is starting to get freaky. Hold on. I'm, the... okay, I'm a little freaked. Are you? Yeah. How freaked are you, Nick? Well, kind of pretty freaked. What's wrong? <laughs> no, just... Okay, we are at the barrel going right. Turn right and continue up the road. You will see a small building on your left. God. Wait, wait, can we stay close to me? Okay, we are entering the building. Do you see a ladder directly in front of you? Yeah. Yes. Walk to your right and into the building no. under the overhead. No. Okay. No. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. I really... You okay, Nikki? This just looks really... Cr I just don't feel... My, my senses tell me it's just not a good idea to enter this thing. Proceed through the plastic sheet. Hey, look, I just want to... Um, I'm not sure. So what, what happens when we start seeing some ghosts or whatever? We run, we what, hang out? What, what are we supposed to do? Nikki, that's not guaranteed that that's going to happen, baby. So if I were you, I wouldn't panic. Follow the instructions and keep a clear head. OK, we got to go through here. Oh, that's just not right. Do you want to hold my very, hand? Very not cool with it. Wait, let's just hold on for a sec. Oh, god. <laughs> What's up, Nikki? I'm just feeling really anxiety. Uh, 
Nikki's feeling trapped, getting anxiety attacks. Nikki, breathe. <laughs> you can get through this. It's your mind telling you. It's your mind playing with you. That's all it is. It's not your body. It's not a goat. It's not a spirit. It's your mind playing with you. I'm feeling very panicky. I'm feeling much anxiety, and I, I'm, I can't breathe. I guarantee you're going to be fine. I guarantee this. I swear this. Let me stay behind you. No, go you first. Want me in front? Okay. Uh, okay, we've got, uh, we're in the plastic. Uh, we're in. Uh, Hang on. After allegedly murdering Claire, Solomon came here to the Colts prayer room, where they say he swallowed handfuls of LSD and painkillers. According to the story. When the other cult members found him, Solomon carved Claire's name into his flesh and bled to death. Get to the instruction, Nikki's freaking out. Legend says that Solomon's dark shadow remains haunting this area. Help me. This investigation, you will attempt to collect electromagnetic readings that indicate a ghost is present. Hurry. It's all right, Nikki, it's all right. Did you? Yes, I heard. It's all right. No, I can't. No. Man, I gotta get out of here. Please help me. Help. Oh. Okay. Hey. I can't. Hold on. Hold. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Nikki. Hold please. on to me. Hold on. Please. Hey, I gotta get Nikki out of here. Please. Nikki, this way. Help me. Here. Help me. Nikki freaked out, we're leaving. Did you hear that? That yeah. was a ghost, right? Yeah. Where are we? Did you get any reading? Yes. No, we're leaving. Nikki is freaking out, I told you, we're leaving. Something in there? That was. <laughs> My hands, I can't even keep them dry, do you see this? Me either. This is insane. I'm, I'm panicked for her. See, the excitement that you got in your voice make other people nervous. You can get panicked for them. You ain't helping them. But you was, you was all, ah, oh, that can't be No, that but way. I'm not, but I'm not panicked. And I wasn't panicked giving her instructions. I was very clear. And I wanted to make sure that I was, it was extremely clear. Yeah, and but you were, And let her know that if you can't do this, come on back. That's a negative thing. If you can't do it, look, hey, breathe. That's Breathe. what I said. You can't do it. Come back. When you tell a person they don't really want to do it because they're scared, and you tell them you can't do it, come. You, say, you just should have told us to stick with what you call. You guys, I'm so sorry, but I don't apologize. Don't apologize. You guys, I just started feeling a really. I mean, I just felt I was wanted to cry. <laughs> it's gnarly, dude. It I just felt like whatever presence that was there didn't want us there. It was a vibration in your body. It's like such a weird feeling. Oh, quit it. That it's was cool, just, though. I feel so light right now. Oh Sit down, I'm gonna interview about this. Okay. This has been a pretty amazing experience so far, huh? Yes. I just wanted to cry. It was like I was feeling just, you know, just ugliness, sorrow, despair, nausea. It was right in there it with us. It was like in the room next to us. I was trying to stand there and be cool for Nikki and not freak out. We were so into this building, like, in this room, in you this can't room, get out. The, you can't, the, you can't just oh, run out we of door. You got to keep running so through, door, you know, down you a think hallway. think you're so deep in that you can't get out. We were so deep in that I just, it's on its way in. So to run out, we'd run by it. You know, it's like oh. now you, you get lost. Hi. Oh, that just really, really. Oh. Nikki will be base commander for this investigation. For your second investigation, Deborah, take the music box and ghost catcher to the Colt Children's Dorm to investigate reported sightings of Claire's ghost. You're going alone? Deborah's all by herself on this sure. one. It's just Deborah? Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? No, but the sooner I do this, the sooner I do this. Are you are you okay to go alone? No. But it's but I'm gonna do what I can do as far as I can do it. Everyone who knows me knows that I take Psy phenomena very, very, very seriously, and I, I can't wait to explore it, not from an actor's perspective, but, a, but an investigator's perspective. I'll see you soon. Okay. Yeah. Go, girl. Okay, can you hear me? She's got balls to go by herself. Yes, ma'am, I can. You're my lifeline, mama. Okay, you're gonna exit the base camp doors and face forward. 
walk forward, you will see a barrel with an arrow pointing right. Take your time, honey. Then you're gonna walk straight and continue until you see bushes on both sides of the road. Follow the concrete path up past the trees to the small wooden building. I'm at the small wooden building. Enter the wooden building and confirm when you are inside. I've confirmed that I'm inside. This was the cabin where Claire was believed to have slept. In his private journal left behind, Solomon wrote about how he liked to visit Claire's cabin in the middle of the night and watch her sleep. As rumor has it, after Solomon sacrificed Claire in his dark ritual, people started to hear whispered prayers coming from this cabin and believed that it was Claire's spirit hiding in the one place she felt safe. In this investigation, you will attempt to contact Claire's frightened spirit. Open your pack and remove the ghost catcher. Hang the ghost catcher from the hook. This device is like a hypersensitive wind chime. It detects the subtle shift in air caused by a spirit passing through the room. Father, you made me promise that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I do this in the name of your holy protection and your holy love. I beg your protection at this moment and every moment. But I heard a voice. Let's move on. The wind chime is hung. Now remove the music box from your pack. Wind it up and let it play in the middle of the room. I confirm that it's playing. Okay, Claire's diary mentions that she liked to listen to music as she went to sleep. Since familiar and comforting sounds or activities can lure spirits to certain locations, this music box has been crafted to play a tune she often listened to. Invite the spirits to make themselves known. Father, I know that there are restless spirits that exist on this plane. Invite these spirits into this room. Let them know that they are loved and that they can move on if they so choose. I heard a voice. Hang on. There is a sound. I'm hearing something in the corner of the room scratching. It was like a breathing sound. I can't tell if it was scratching or breathing. Coming from the corner, my camera's facing in that direction. Nikki, I'm hearing breathing. It's making me a little nervous. And it's in the room with me. Can you hear me? Nikki, there's breathing in the room. I can hear it. Can you hear me? Nikki, can you hear me? My radio is malfunctioning. There's a presence in the room. Please tell me when I can leave. Invite the spirits to make themselves known. This is freaky. You guys, I could never be in that. They just got a music box playing and the wind chime hanging. Nikki, there is breathing in the room. I can hear it. Can you hear me? Nikki, can you hear me? Can you hear me? My radio was melting. There's a presence in the room. Please, when I leave. My camera's malfunctioning. My is malfunctioning. Usually, that means there's an entity messing with the electromagnetic spectrum. Coming back. I just want to confirm that I did make contact. I'm at the doorway. I'm coming in. Oh, my gosh. 
That's amazing what you just did. How do you feel? You all right? Yeah. You got what you want, huh? You won't be able to tell the camera's malfunctioning every time I went in. We heard it. We could hear We could hear, we your, could hear your camera. Here, so like, we have the noise here on tape here that we heard uh -huh. your camera malfunctioning. Yeah. The radio began to malfunction as well. Yeah, we heard that. Mm hmm And each time it did, they were breathing. Right. Uh -huh. From the corner. Uh, First scratching. But you never saw anything? But it was as clear as day. Yeah. Because the room was much smaller than this. And it was staring at me in the corner. I could feel it. It was watching you. And it wasn't a child. Oh, it wasn't? No, it was not. It wasn't. Wow. Do you what think we have to do now? To begin your next investigation? Evander and Julio take the burlap sack to the creek to investigate the Colts' baptism ceremony. I'm not afraid because I believe in the Holy Spirit. Anything get too difficult, I would start praying. If I can get Jesus out, I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. Guys, <laughs> I love you all. God bless all right. you. Hey, yeah. good luck, guys. Go down the metal staircase. Okay, so we're going down the metal staircase, okay? We hear the creek. Locate the candle dripping on the opposite bank of the creek and kneel next to them facing the water. Yeah, yeah, we see it. And now we just kneel next to it. It was at this creek where Solomon was rumored to have performed the cult's baptisms where he would leave the children in the stream as the rushing waters washed over them. One day after Solomon's suicide, one of the cult members claimed to see in the reflection of the water the wavering figure of Solomon standing behind her. Some say that Solomon's ghost lingers here to haunt one of his places of power. In this investigation, you will attempt to see the ghost of Solomon. Evander, open the burlap sack you have been carrying. Okay. And now? Kiss Evander <laughs> on the lips. <laughs> Just kidding. Evander, pick up the doll in your left hand. This doll represents those who were baptized here. Hold the baby aloft and say, I accept you as a child of the night. Oh. Hold the baby aloft and say, I accept you as a child of the night. Huh. I'm not saying that. I'm, I ain't getting into all that. Hey, you said that. Just, just, I ain't saying that. It's going against what I believe in, morally and all that. You don't want to do it? Can't do. Can't do. OK. Return to base camp now. OK, we're coming. They seem a little freaked. They, they saw something, they just felt that. There's some serious activity going on there tonight. Full moon activity. Mm. Man, that's freaky, eh? Julio, did you see anything or just feel it? Vibration? But honestly, I didn't want to think about it. So I didn't want to, you know, you if, I, if, I start, if I start thinking about it, then I. It's even, it's like freaky. You're sitting there. Were, were they satanic or what was uh -huh. it? You it's know? a cult ritual. My whole thing is that it's a spirit there and the spirit is a different thing. But if you're going trying to aggravate a spirit, trying to get the dog spirit to come to you where you can say you've seen the spirit, now that, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, you don't want to do that. 
Well, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to do it. Do you guys want to come watch this to begin your next investigation? As a group, decide which two team members will go to the re-education cell. The place where Claire was subjected to ritual abuse just days before her murder. Oh, God. Um, okay. I can't. I, I, I don't know. Oh. can't do this. Uh, I'm just, I just don't know if I'm ready to go out there again yet. And this has just been... With what... Uh, I don't know. What's the community vote? I can't, I, I can't do it. You done? I, I just, done. I can't, I don't, I... Evander? You done? It don't bother me. I can go do it. Let's go do this then. All right. Are you sure? Let's go do this. Yeah. Let's do this and go home, please. You're in good hands. Oh, boy. You all right? <laughs> okay. All right, kids. Go outside. I might as well be, because I'm never going to do it again in my entire life. You're not? Never. So it's important that I follow through for this task and the next, because I will never do this again, ever, in my entire wow. life. Wow. Ever. Oh, not you. Not... Yes, me. Oh, wow. So I have to complete these last two tasks. This will never again take place in my life, and I'll never speak of it ever. You won't? No. Exit base camp. All okay. right. See you soon. And I'll be stronger because of you. But I have to admit, it made me face a reality in the spirit world that I'd never faced before. Come back, where are you? Okay, you're gonna continue on the road past both buildings, keeping the buildings to your left. Confirming that we're identifying the building. Enter the building through the open door. Confirm when you have entered the building. We've confirmed that we've entered the building. Go down the second hallway. This way. Confirm when you are in the small cell. In the small cell. According to local legend, two days before Claire's initiation ceremony, she was brought here to what Solomon called the re-education cell. The story goes that it was in this room where Claire was chained, whipped, and subjected to ritual abuse to test her devotion to Solomon and the cult. Since ghosts typically visit places of torment, in this investigation you will attempt to channel the spirit of Claire to see if she haunts this room. Okay, you have a better chance successfully contacting the spirits if you simulate their suffering by locking a team member's hand in shackles. Evander, sit on the floor next to the hanging shackles. Sit on the floor? I'm not gonna sit on this floor. Okay. I will. Okay, then everything I say will go towards you then, Deborah. If I do this, will you not leave me? I don't leave you. We man, come in. What's up? I'll do it. Oh my god. Lock the hand in the shackles now. Okay, once you are locked in, Evander needs to leave the building and wait just outside the entrance. Confirm that this has been done. No way. Okay, once you are locked in, 
Evander, leave the building and wait just outside the entrance. Confirm that this has been done. No way. The hallway is enough. I've been through enough. I've submitted my body and my spirit enough. I'm even shackled with a man who has feet outside the building. It's not going to happen. Always wanted to experience the paranormal. Is your mind playing? You can get through this. How long would he have to wait for outside? When it says wait, what does that mean? To me, that means walk, show he's outside, and walk back in. You want to do this? Yeah. I'm willing to do it as long as he walks outside and comes right back in. Let me know when he comes back in. on the souls of the people, the spirits that still reside there and cannot cross over. We're heading back to base camp. I've never experienced anything like that before, and I really wanted to complete as many tasks as I was asked, simply because this is an experience that I'll never go through again. God, I can't believe that among such beauty and such peace, sorrow and suffering that still exists here. Welcome home, team. Definitely banging on the walls, but like I said, my confidence is back up because of Master Holyfield. I know he, he had my back and I know he never left me, so I was willing to be in handcuffs. And they're rusty and they're, they're dirty, but um, they torture these people mm. because the way the chains are hung, if you sit down, it stretches your arm. And the people that were put in that room, probably primarily women, were there to be tortured out of their minds. Don't sell your soul. That's all it is. Yeah. Mean. Don't sell your soul. Exactly. You don't sell your soul, you can always ask, Lord, forgive you. You could be dying and say, oh, Lord, forgive me. Be grateful enough to forgive you. What's next? As a team, decide which of the areas you investigated is the heart of the haunting, the most paranormally active. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, wow. She just has to let it out. What's wrong? You got cramp? No. Get at me! Get at me! Get at me! Get at me! No! No! What are you feeling, Deborah? Are you okay? Get at me, 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 get at me. I don't want you. Get at me, get at me. 
I don't own you. Get out of me. I don't own you. I don't own you. I don't own you. I don't own you. Get out of me. I don't own you. I don't own you. Uh uh. No more. Get out. Get out. Leave me. Now I've done what I'm supposed to do for you. I feel you. I feel you. Get out of me now. Get out of me now. Get out of me. Get out of me. Let go of me. You don't own it. I don't own you. Okay. Okay. Don't what I'm supposed to do for you. I understand. You're angry. I understand. <sighs> I saw something. I oh. wonder if my camera picked that up. You would not believe what I felt. Oh, my God. Well, tell me what you tell felt. Tell the manner what you felt. Walking down the path, I made myself relate. And when I came back into the room, an entity entered me, and they made me feel everything they felt. I could feel the anger rise, but it was more than anger. It was torture. Because when you mentioned, as long as you ask for forgiveness at the last minute, and they didn't. They didn't ask. They had forgotten to ask God. They forgot how because they believed that they would not be forgiven. And so they sat there in pain. And I've never felt anything like that. I am done. I can't do this anymore. I'm done. Oh, God, Jesus Christ in heaven. This isn't a place where we belong. can't go in those buildings and invite me. I cannot do this. I can't do this. Oh. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. The group is officially done. I'm not scared anymore, but I'm just, I don't want to ever do it again. <laughs> I do. I believe the place is haunted. I would never mess with the spirits again. I believed in the supernatural a little bit before I came here tonight. And uh, now I know it's out there. Actually, before I did this show, I was very skeptical. I didn't know much about the paranormal. But after, after doing this show, I, I definitely believe in it. And I, I think it's very scary. My life is forever changed by this experience. I have nothing, nothing that has ever compared to this, nor ever will. So Deborah's getting interviewed? Yeah, Deborah's being Ooh, interviewed. Oh, she's gonna be there for a long time. Because she talks like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's so it. She's gonna be there for at least another two hours. <laughs> I thought being a script or her to yeah. see this. When when I sat down and she started talking to me too, I thought, oh, she must be the host. You were yeah, 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 yeah. I got the idea that she was the host. I was like, okay, so she's hosting this show because she <laughs> just came forward and just all blah, blah, blah. I was like, yep, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>